And guys, for me, this is a heartbreaking, heartbreaking sight. Trying not to be angry at those who have done it, because I know they're doing it because they're poor and they need money. But this tree was at least 50 years old. And it's the exact tree I sat under in a video where the Greater Gallagher looked down on me. And they've burned it and felled it to get firewood to sell and made a lot of damage to the trees next door this is this is why we need to educate children here because this is one of the last safe havens of a true Eden on earth and desperation and poverty is going to keep driving this behavior. This man might have children who are hungry. I don't know, I'm gonna go talk to him. What he's done is illegal. I won't prosecute him, but I'll chase him off the land. And if I see him again, I'll put the Maasai down to make sure he doesn't come back. Because I understand what he's doing, but there's not enough trees for people to do this anymore. They have to wake up. And for the amount of money he'd get for this 50 year old tree, it's probably about $20. And I would have given it out of my pocket to just leave it alone. God forgive our species for what we are. I'm very sure this is in response to the fact that we're now protecting it is the problem. But this disgusts me. I'm going to go and find the guy now, because I can hear someone chopping up here. Hey guys, so... You just saw the footage. Uh, Someone cut down one of the, the big trees here and there's so few in our forestry project that are beyond 50, 60 years old that those are the ones we're trying to preserve. You know, they're the home, they're, they're fig trees as well. They're the food for the monkeys, they're the home for the galagos, they're the home for the owls. And 50 years of nature's hard work knitting something together is over because of a human. Now, this video is not going to be about that topic. I, I cover environmental problems enough and the fact that we must educate children here so as they grow to be different and they understand that, yes, there might be desperate times, etc. Uh, but it's, if you carry on this way, your grandchildren are going to suffer. But what I want to talk about is there's a sense of uh, disappointment and anger in me at humanity when these things happen but that is not that is not conducive of being good at aid work to some degree to be an aid worker love is sometimes more important than your qualifications your education and uh, because of that My Maasai has just arrived, head of security. Karibu! Sibiri Nakuji! Because of that, he's come down to catch these men. He's on a motorbike. Because of that, you really have to work on cultivating your love. Because if you don't, a time like this, I, I am angry at the guy because I have a connection, a bond with this area. But it's not his fault, and, and an unempathetic un un person would miss that. He's doing it out of desperation. I hope there's a good chance some men here do it for alcohol and prostitution. Same as anywhere in the world. Some people destroy nature for those reasons. For, for fleshly pleasure. And it's bullshit and it's annoying. And those type of men, it's not the men who don't need to be on earth. It's the type of consciousness they're expressing that we need to eradicate. Just the same as the solution to the suffering of poverty doesn't lie in generating more money. It lies in 
changing the consciousness to to be able to to understand that sharing is the solution and likewise just to say if you're ever doing aid or charity work there will come a time where you grow increasingly frustrated with the people you're helping and at those times you must take time to back off and find your empathy and your love and understanding before you make a mistake so but for now there are signs up here to say this is illegal he knows it's illegal whoever it is so the Maasai are here and uh, we're gonna have a talk with him now so I'll get off and do that um, but I just want to talk about that when you're helping people love is key you do need education you do need skills but I mean I have one of the world's greatest minds as a trustee someone who has a PhD in the development of Tanzania from Cambridge in the UK as a trustee for my charity so education isn't necessarily always key because you can attract the right people if you put the heart into it and that's how I see it so these guys are helping us anyway they've got baby goats as well right busy day at the forest god bless guys Mambos! Safi, I see. I know some people will say, it's such a fuss. I know some of you will think, what a big mess for a tree. What a big commotion. But look, you see, this valley is right at the point of destruction. The valley sides with these ancient trees are our key starting point for reforesting the ground floor as well and this is government land it's owned by the government it's protected but they can't afford to protect it correctly so it is a lot of fuss but it's necessary fuss because if you don't clamp down quickly they'll come back next week for another and another and another anyway Isaac's here he's got the other Warriors coming down, the Moran, I was going to say, as the Maasai word, and oh, they are on their way and they'll catch this guy. We've already seen him, he ran up the top because he knows he shouldn't be doing it, so, sad. I'm flagging a bit here, but Isaac's here, and Isaac's chief of uh, our security in Maasai. He, this morning, had a dream that he was carrying lots of wood down off a mountain, yeah? And now, because someone has felled that tree, we plan to cut it up and take it for all of the families who are struggling for firewood, who we know, children, single mums, etc. Uh, people labouring. This man's... <laughs> he's got an ability. He has a special ability, so... It's a very common thing I find in the tribes here. People who really do dream things and then they happen, so... Amazing. Guys, so... There's some discussion that this was someone trying to get to honey but I can hear someone cutting trees along here now so I don't believe that for one second I think someone's trying to get them out of trouble but even if it was for someone getting honey it just goes to show what happens when you are not connected to your tribal roots because the Hadzabi would never ever destroy a tree like that but I will say that Isaac who is the chief of the Maasai and the man who has killed the lion with his bare hands is currently giving chase up here I've just seen him he's running up here my camera's got the tripod on so I can't uh... Uh, I can't see him he's giving chase to somebody up there this is somebody profiteering I don't think this is a desperate local because they would have came to us I think this is someone from out of area who's come in and thought they'll take down a few trees and get I mean if you're making a dollar a day that tree will give you about twenty dollars so setting a fire and knocking down the tree and cutting it up will give you a month's salary for three or four days work you know so. I'm not well. I came here to rest. <laughs> I'll rest for the wicked, hey? Right. I'll wait for Isaac. We decided we're going to have some 
warriors sleeping down in the forest from now on. We think it's for the best because times are changing. There's definitely an economic downturn in Tanzania at the moment. There's a lot of desperate folk because of it. I promised this forest I'd protect it. I promised the forest itself and I promised the government as well. And I'll make sure we do. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe as it really helps us to grow the channel and with it help more children here in Tanzania. Also, don't forget you can support our work by sharing with children in crisis here. Be it sharing for a particular need or even sharing one-on-one -on -one support for education, housing, food and medical care. It can be done for as little as the cost of a cup of coffee a week back in the West after all. Just visit www.sharetanzania.co.uk to find out more. Lastly, remember you can also support us via Patreon, www.patreon.com forward slash feathers tail and help keep us here in Tanzania to continue our work. The links for the website and for the Patreon are in the description box of this video. Love and light guys. See you soon.